What's up, everybody? All right, we got a we got a fun video for you today. So we're going to be taking a look at two Ford F-150s. Both of them are XLs. But here's the exciting part about this video, as you've probably seen in the title. We're going to be taking a look at a 2018 F-150 and then a really old F-150. So stay with us. Let's go get inside the new one, pull it back there with the old one. All right, so we're doing the best we can to find two trucks that are as similar as possible, even though one is over 20 years old. So, uh, well, you got it. We got this one right here. Nice looking gray. I'm liking that color. Got a lot of metallics in the paint, which looks good. It's got the wheels. It's the XL. It's the regular cab. Let's go ahead and hop in. Woo, you talking about hot today? Oh, boy, it's hot. It's over 93 degrees, and then when you add in the heat index and the humidity and all of that, oh man, it's hot. So anyways, here's the key to the new one. Let's go ahead and unlock it. Now, unfortunately, it does not have remote start, or you can bet your britches I would have done, I would have done cranked it up and got it cooled off before getting in here. But, uh, ooh, man, you can see the actual heat just rolling up out of the interior. And now I'm going to pop my turtle head in here, and whew, it's hot. It is hot. Oh my goodness, let's get the AC blowing. And uh, see how long it takes for this AC to actually start cooling off on a, uh, a new F-150. We'll let that cool off for a minute. We'll leave the door open and, and all that for a minute. Let's take a look just at the exterior body of the truck. You know, you don't see a whole lot of regular cab F-150s on the road that much. Um, now you do see them in like work trucks in the white but to be like just a regular XL in a, in a different color than just an old work truck color, you don't see a whole lot of them anymore, do you? But Ford still does sell them. Now, if I were to drive down to the Chevrolet store down there, I would not be able to find a regular cab Silverado to compare with this right here. The only regular cab type Silverado they would have would be a bare bones work truck in white. So uh, it seems to me, maybe it's just our dealership down there at the Chevrolet store, maybe they just don't order any regular cab Silverados, but it just doesn't seem to, you don't see a whole lot of those on the road either. Americans are pretty much leaning more towards these, uh, these extended cab types uh, Ford trucks or a crew cab Ford truck. Most people want four doors and a back seat. But I remember back in the days of high school where you know, all the guys on the baseball team and football team were rocking the old Chevy S10s and the Ford Rangers and stuff like that, the small little trucks. But uh, anyways, let's see if the AC is finally cooled down. Now this truck though, has got a price tag of $30,350. After discounts and all, puts it down to $26,996. So $30,000 for a regular cab F-150 is still a pretty, pretty uh, hefty price tag there, isn't it? It is. We're going to see today what all you're getting for $30,000 on a regular cab XL work truck. All right, let's go ahead and close the door. So less than a three minutes, less than two minutes, the AC's already blowing pretty cold in here, which feels good. Still got the, col uh, the shifter on the column. You got your vinyl floors down here. You got a USB port, AM, FM radio. You got a 12 volt right there. You got a glove box, you got a little screen. And you do got the auto start and, start and shut off, or whatever it is, when you stop it, stop light or the stop sign and the engine shuts off, you got that feature, okay? So you got some of those things on this truck, which definitely helps with fuel economy. I believe it is a V6 under the hood. Does it have a backup camera? Oh, of course it does. All right, let's go ahead and drive to the back of the store and I'll see you back in a second. We're gonna go get the keys to the older truck. All right, so we got that one part. Let's go walk over here. Now, the truck we're getting ready to look at is actually a, it's actually a 2002 Ford F-150 XL. So, uh, it looked like it was older than 2002, but hey, maybe that's right. Maybe, that's, maybe this is the body style on an 02 F-150. Now again, do take into consideration, this truck right here was just traded in. 
maybe a week ago or so or maybe a couple days ago it hasn't been cleaned um, I don't even think it'll even go up on the front lot to sell in most cases it will probably most likely go to the auction or a wholesaler will come and pick it up and uh, and put it on a little used car lot somewhere and sell it for cash but these older trucks do sell and people still seem to be looking for them from time to time so anyways I don't even know if it'll crank up to be honest with you but we're gonna we're gonna try now this this truck again is an XL it has no keyless entries or anything like that I'm kind of watching where I'm stepping at because it is snake season right now and I had a snake in my house last week in the master bathroom that about scared the living tar out of my wife and me and uh, and that's a whole another video on another channel that we got but um, but anyway so we definitely keeping our eye out for snakes and and all that kind of stuff because they're they're slithering and slathering around but anyways let's uh oh, holy mackerel this thing's manual transmission let's go ahead and take a look at the inside now I mean this is the real deal work truck here I mean you got roll-up windows which I always say is less things to break ten years down the road which ten years down the road came a long time ago and uh, it's got your vinyl seats vinyl floors and a manual transmission so I'm just kind of looking around to make sure there's another little critters in here I usually wouldn't do that but with the circumstances of what happened in my house last week it has really made me start paying attention to what is around me all right Ugh. so we're in it and I don't know if it's gonna crank up, but we're gonna give it a shot. And it's hot in here. I seriously doubt, I doubt the AC system works in this truck. I really do. I seriously doubt it. But we're gonna try. Oh boy. We got power. Put my foot on the clutch, crank it up. I'll be doggone it. It cranked right up on the first try. I like that. And I'll be darned the AC's working. That says a lot. You know what? I am extremely impressed right now. It cranked up and the AC's blowing. The radio works. It's got 172,000 miles on it but and I don't want to hear that radio ad from that car store because I just don't want to hear it <laughs> but I'm a little blown away right now that says a lot about Ford tough it might not be the cleanest truck in the world but if the AC works and it cranks up it's a good truck all right everybody let's pull this bad boy over there by the new 2018 and see what we got going on I'm probably have to take my hand off the uh, camera for a minute because we got to put it in gear. Let's see how the clutch feels. So this is first, second, third, fourth. All right, let's give it a whirl. He breaks off, we're good to go. Clutch feels good. Wow, I'm really impressed right now. How about that? How about it? I think this is going to be a good review. Let's get started. All right, everybody. So we got both of our Ford F-150 XLs parked right behind us here. Now, listen. I do not know a whole lot of information about that older truck over there other than it's a Ford F-150 XL. But what I'll do today is I'm going to do the best I can to review both of these trucks together. I'll pop the hoods on both trucks, let you see the motors, let you hear the engines, let them run, all that stuff. And really, deep down and honestly here folks, this video is showing you how that older truck has held up so good all these years later okay personally I had no clue earlier if the truck was gonna crank up if the AC was gonna blow cold or even get into gear and drive I had no clue 
That is the beauty of what I do on my channel. It's kind of like a reaction type video to these cars. So, the other thing that I want to do is I want y'all to understand after watching that there's a reason why people spend the extra money on buying a Ford truck because deep down inside they do last longer over the years. That's not to discredit Chevrolet, it's not to discredit Toyota because Toyota trucks freaking run forever. And uh, I don't know a whole lot about older Chevy Silverados because I just don't get to see a whole lot of them, you know? But that tells you something. But anyways, nothing against Chevrolet. I love Chevy. But again, I just don't see a whole lot of older Silverados on the road anymore. But we do see older Fords. And, uh, and that says a lot about the brand. So anyways, with no, and I won't even get into Dodge, okay? I'm not a Dodge truck fan all that much. I do like the older, or I do like the newer Dodges. I mean, they're absolutely beautiful trucks. But again, I'm just, I'm not a big fan of the older Dodge trucks that were made back in the 2000s in that era. They, uh, they just don't seem to, to, to hold up all that great. So anyways, with no further ado, let's go ahead and take the camera view off of me for a minute and let's start looking at them and seeing what they're all about. All right, everybody, so the first part of this video is going to be just kind of going around and looking at the exterior bodies on the trucks. You know, the Ford truck really, body style-wise, body style -wise, looks pretty similar, doesn't it? And it's funny, that, that noise that was going, you know, that, that sound right there, it's kind of going off and on. So I think that has to do with the AC system on it. But still, it's blowing cold in there, so thank God for that. Now one thing that's common on trucks, especially older trucks, is the headlights start fading out over the years. But I'm pretty sure if you bought this truck, you probably could get a new set of headlights on here and, uh, and they would look just as nice as the brand new ones that came on a truck originally. You know, you could do a nice paint job on this truck. You could really make this a absolutely beautiful truck if you wanted to put some extra time and money into it. Because technically, look at it. I mean, the body's in great shape. Now if it does got a dent or ding or here and there, you know, I mean, hey, give it to me, Bo. I mean, come on. You know, it's going to have a few dents, stings, and scratches on it. Again, it's a 2002, and currently right now we're in the year 2018. We'll pop the hood in just a second. You do got your steel wheels right there. Your Goodyear Wrangler tires would absolutely a ton of tread on there. So you got, look like brand new tires. I like the color. Kind of similar to this color over here. Maybe I'm colorblind. Is that green or is that gray? You got the black mirrors. You got the black mirrors. You know, you do got a little bit more of an upgraded steel or upgraded alloy wheel on this truck, okay? Again, though, it's an XL. It's an XL. It's a $30,000 XL compared to probably like a $2,500 XL. But I, to be honest with you, I'd like to buy this truck for myself right now. It's a nice looking truck. Back tires, brand spanking new. Again, somebody really took nice care of it. I always like to look in this area here. And uh, it looks pretty clean in there, not too bad, right? That's important. A lot of car reviewers online are not going to take the time to open that up and show you if it's clean or not in there. Not that someone got in there with a rag and cleaned it out, you know, but it looks pretty decent. Um, back window does not open and close. There's no tint on these windows. It's the same exact deal on this, older, on this new truck over here. Kind of very similar, right? Very similar. Um, does have uh, no bed liner, okay? So there's no bed liner, just you metal. There's what it looks like if you bought it new. No bed liner. We don't add bed liners on them. Now back in the day, they did put this nice plastic piece here, right? Do they do that on the 2018s? Of course they do. Okay, let's protect that so it didn't get all scratched up. There's the rear end on the 20, or 2002. But as you can see, the body of the truck has held up over the past 15 plus years. It really has. Other than a few scratches, dents, and dings, and really not a whole lot of them, the body's held up good. You know, it does depend on who owned the vehicle. You know, I mean, someone could have owned it and got in a car accident and wrecked it all the hell and back, and it would have been a horrible looking truck. But someone really took care of that one, it seems like. Here's the 2018 rear end, right? The only difference, back in 2002, you did not have backup cameras. You do have backup cameras now on the newer XL. You don't have it over there. The bumper, you got some chrome. You got the tow package. You don't have any chrome. You do got the tow package. And the other interesting thing is, is you have a ball here and the other one does not. So you got a ball, you got a tow package, you got a light. You got a spare tire right up underneath. Slams down pretty hard. 
Will it slam down hard on the XL over there? We're gonna have a C right now, okay? Some of these trucks can fold down nice and smooth. Drops down just like so, okay? So there's the rear ends of both of them. Now let's see, is it similar in size in the back back here, right? Because this definitely looks bigger. It's got to be bigger, right? I mean, trucks have just evolved and they've started to grow over the years. But when you really look at it, I'll be doggone it. That's a lot of space in the back of that older truck. It really is. So they don't really seem to have changed that much as in dimensions. Well, they got a lot of room. It seems the only thing that really has changed is this truck sits up a little higher off the ground than this one over here. But size-wise, look at them. I mean, they are very similar in size. You know, the body of the truck has definitely, on the newer ones, gotten a little beefier looking, right? More flares, the hips kind of flare out and things like that. But overall size of the truck being a regular cab, it really has stayed pretty similar. All right, everybody, let's go ahead and pop the hoods and take a look. I know we got a V6 over here. I'm not exactly sure what's over there. I'm assuming it's a V6. Let's go ahead and find out right now. Let's just go ahead and keep the camera rolling. What's the point in shutting the camera off, right? I want to show y'all everything just as I'm doing it. I think the, the, the part that you'll see the most on condition is going to be the wear and tear that happens on the interior of vehicles more than exterior. Because I'm really kind of blown away by the paint on this truck. Now, it may have been repainted before, but this looks pretty original to me. Now, this is nice. Look at this. You still got shocks under the hood. So, I don't have to grab a little... Well, there, well, there is a pole here, but I don't think that has anything to do with the hood. Now, here's something that I absolutely love on older vehicles. A light under the hood. Check it out. Now, it might not be the cleanest under the hood, right? It's definitely dirty under here. There's dirt and grime, and it could definitely use a good pressure washing. But I'll tell you, folks, you go take a pressure washer and start spraying all up under here, you better know what you're doing on working on trucks or on motors because if you go and hit the wrong thing, you might mess something up. So if you're going to clean under here, spray it down with some degreaser really good maybe and just make sure you don't sit there and spray the water on certain components under the hood it can be cleaned up though and uh i'd love to see it cleaned up i'm a big old battery right there and again i just can't get over having a light under a hood they just don't put lights under the hoods of trucks anymore now i'd be blown away right now i'd get on the ground and do cartwheels if there's a light under the hood on that let's go take a look for ourselves and see if there's a light under the hood, oh man, I really don't feel like doing cartwheels. I done banged up my knee last week at the Chevy store down there. I fell straight on the hard dirt and gravel down there and just fell right to the ground. I hurt myself while on the car lot. I mean, I've been out here filming for many years, since 2011 to be exact. I've never fell down and hurt myself at the car lot, but I did it last week. It was stress related the heat and everything else i blacked out fell straight to the ground and hurt myself all right anyways let's hope that don't happen again today all right very nice and i just got lucky there is no light under the hood so no cartwheels for you <laughs> but uh battery still on the same side on the left hand side of the vehicle right over here interesting right kind of similar look at that all this kind of looks similar now, one thing I didn't show you earlier was what size motor this is. Now, I really don't know by just looking at it. I'm assuming it's a V6 by looking at that. But somewhere around here, it should tell us what size we got, what size engine it is. And some of y'all probably already know by just looking at the truck. 4.6, 4, 5.4, or 4.2. really don't know I'm not really sure right now I'll see what I can find out but if you know what engine is in here I think it's a six cylinder because most of these work trucks came with the v6 but let me know in the comments section if you know what motors in there pretty solid too huh not bad nice solid truck I'm liking them 
All right, let's take a quick break to get a little drink in me because it's hot, and then we'll be back in just a minute to review the interiors of both trucks. All right, everybody, we're switching up cameras for a minute. So we went from a digital SLR Canon camera to a Canon video camera. Why am I switching cameras? Well, for the simple reason, and this camera actually does a little bit better job at staying in focus. So uh, we're going to use this camera while doing the interiors. All right, let's go ahead and turn the camera around and start looking at the interior of the 2018 F-150 XL. So we do have power windows, power mirrors, power door locks. The truck over there does not have power windows, does not have power door locks, and I don't think it has power mirrors. I've always said on trucks that have non-power things that there's less things to break 10 years down the road, and that is absolutely true. But nowadays, you're just not going to find an XL truck that doesn't have power windows, door locks, or mirrors, right? I don't think you do. I haven't seen one myself. Other than that, that truck over there has got vinyl seats. This truck over here has got cloth seats. Of course, if you get a work truck, a white one, XL, you can get vinyl seats in here. We do got the vinyl floors. Your lights are right here. The steering wheel does telescope. It goes up and down, out and in. You got all your buttons and controls for cruise control. Multi-information display screen buttons to control that screen there. Radio control buttons here and Bluetooth for cell phone system in here with Ford Sync system, okay? So you got that. Of course, that truck over there is not going to have all that techie stuff because it just wasn't around in 2002. You got a nice little screen in here. Again, the other truck will not have that. You got a nice cold AC system, you got a USB port, auxiliary, 12 volt, all that. You got your cup holders right there. You got this center seat that also drops down and you can have it as a center console. Your lights, do you got mirrors in here? No, you do not. So no mirrors in there for, for the ladies doing their makeup or the guys that put lipstick on every once in a while on a Friday or a blue moon, okay? You do got the handles right here to grab a hold of. But other than that, very nice truck, very clean truck, a good truck. Let's go take a look at the other F-150 interior, see what we got going on. Like I said, manual door locks, manual windows, manual seats, of course. You know, I mean, this is wear and tear over these 15 plus years, okay? It's easy to fix. You can go to Pet Boys or Home Depot or whatever. Go to your local auto parts store and, and you can buy a new seat cover to go on here. You can get them in the computer systems in there and they'll they'll jimmy jammy it up and get you one. Um, I'm sure they still make them. The headlights are right there. We're going to go ahead and cut them off for a minute. We're going to go ahead and cut our blinkers off as well. But all of our lighting on the exterior work just fine on this truck. Still got the handles on the A-pillar on both sides. I love it. I call that the oh shit, or oh, the old crap handle because every once in a while you're going around a corner a little too fast and you or your girlfriend or somebody's going to hold on to that handle. Also, the old man handle. You grab here and pull yourself in and pull yourself out, you know? I mean, you don't have to be an old man to have to pull yourself in and out. Heck, I'll do it right now, okay? Still a nice interior though. I mean, it's pretty comfortable on these seats. And I'll tell you the other thing that I like about this truck. The AC, I'm telling you right now, is just as cold blowing as the one over there in that truck right now. It is blowing so cold, I really could just turn it down a little bit, a notch, okay? Um, the dash here, not a whole lot of special stuff going on. I mean, it's just your, you know, this is just a basic truck. Again, nothing fancy, and I kind of like it like that. You still got a tape deck there, you got your AM, FM. The C, or the, the, the music still works. Is there a mirror? No, okay? Oh, is there airbags? Yes. How's the horn sound? We got to check that out. Let's listen. The horn works. I can't believe it. Yeah, we even got a little stuff down in there. A little change in here. You can fold it in. Manual transmission. You can still get a manual on an XL F-150, okay? So, the light is right there. And you can put your uh, sport jacket right there and hang up your uh, blazer before you go to church on Sunday. Let's go listen to the horn over here on the other truck real quick. We're getting close to the end of the review. The last thing we'll do today is give a little, a little test drive through the parking lot here and see how she feels. Let's listen to the horn. Very similar sound on the horns. Not bad. So, what do you think? 
What's your opinion of these two trucks? Are you a Ford truck driver that's watching this video right now? Did you own an F-150 back in the day like that? Do you own a new F-150? Have you owned several F-150s throughout the timeline there of the production of the F-150s? If so, leave us a comment in the comment section. Leave us a paragraph. I enjoy reading what y'all have to say about your trucks, why you would buy a Chevy over a Ford. I'm interested in seeing what people think on that. And again, just leave a comment because a lot of y'all's input is helpful as well. And again, I love filming vehicles and showing y'all what's out here in the world. And what a beautiful truck. It really is. I am really impressed today with that older 2002 F-150. And I really think they should clean it up and put it up on the car lot for somebody to buy. It really is a nice truck. All right, everybody, let's go ahead and hop in that truck there, do a little test drive through the parking lot, and then, uh, then we'll be closing out the video. All right, let's take them for a ride, right? <laughs> yeah, the F-150 2002. Let's cut the AC off for a minute. Let's give her a run for the money. Let's rev it up, roll our window down. Engine sounds good. That has got to be a V6. We're going to find out right now. Oh man, this thing rides good. Shifting through the gears like a freaking champ. I'm telling you, I really like this little truck here. If I could buy it right now, I would. This is such a nice little truck. You know, it's something about these older F-150s, you know? Something about them. I mean, look at all the new ones over here. They are really beautiful. They are such beautiful trucks. And even an older one like this is a great truck, you know? I really, I really wonder, and I'll have to go online and look and see what a XL F-150 costed back in 2002. I would assume probably in the mid to upper 20s, maybe a little lower, you know, because the 2018 over there is in the 30,000 range. So, I mean, would a truck like this have been in the 30s back in 2002? I'm not exactly sure on that. But I'll tell you one thing, when Ford says they're Ford tough, they got a true statement going on there, okay? It shows you that even a 2002, over 15 plus years old, still running, still shifting through the gears, is still a great truck for someone to own and drive, even in the year 2018. So thank you for watching, everybody. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe on the channel. We really do appreciate everybody that's been subscribing lately. We've gone from 10,000 subscribers over the last two months. Now we're pushing up to 13,000. So welcome aboard to Charleston Car Videos. I'm Chad. I'm here to stay. And I absolutely love making videos for y'all to watch. We'll see you soon, everybody. Thanks for watching. Well, how do we cut the camera off? <laughs> All right, now we're in the uh, actual, this little bonus footage for you. We're in the 2018 XL. You know, I've thought about it for a minute. I'm like, you know, what is really the purpose of a truck, you know? Well, the purpose of a truck is to be able to haul things, right? Things that you definitely wouldn't want to put inside of your SUV or maybe your vehicle or car or something like that. You know, things where you can just haul stuff in the back, throw, you know, uh, bales of hay or, or straw, um, just the things that you wouldn't want to put inside of a normal vehicle. Yeah, that's what a truck's for, hauling things, towing things, getting the job done getting the work done on a daily basis. And that's really what most people need a truck for. Um, you know, and unfortunately, really, here's the thing, trucks like these newer ones out here, which are beautiful, and I'll show you, I'm gonna show you something in just a second here before we go, but trucks have gotten to the point where some of them aren't really about hauling things and getting the job done, right? Some trucks now are just about looks, luxury, and um, being pretty, right? And, uh, and I guess there's nothing really wrong with that. I mean, a lot of people, you know, don't use their truck necessarily to um, to haul things with. You know, they, they want them because they like having a truck. 
and uh, you know that might be really all there is to it um, you know you've seen those trucks on the roads with the big rims and all the pretty graphics on them and and stuff like that and you're like man that definitely doesn't look like a truck to get the job done you know and uh, you know to each his own right everybody has their own uh, you know own purpose of owning a vehicle and what they want but Ford has definitely started to um, you know see where the market in the automotive world is going and they are and they are making some smart moves in a sense you know they've said okay you know if certain sedans that we sell are not selling as much and maybe we're not maybe we're losing money on them instead of making money on them you know it's time to do away with those particular vehicles like the Ford Focus or the Ford Taurus or the Ford Fusion. Now, I really like the Ford Fusion a lot, and um, I'm sure many other people do as well. But I've heard now, I, so I heard that the Focus is being done away with, the Fusion's done away with, they're doing away with all the sedans except for the Ford Mustang. And then I heard about two weeks ago that the Fusion may stay around a little bit longer, or at least going into 2019. So, uh, anyways. They definitely got to deplete their uh, inventory at the factories and all that before they can just pfft, say it's done. So anyways, let me show you a new F-150 that's like one of these trucks where it's like, yeah, probably wouldn't be hauling stuff in the back of it because it's just so pretty. A truck that is 70 plus thousand dollars pretty, right? Well, let me show you right here. The King Ranch F-150 right i mean we all love our ranch on our salad or on a chicken nugget or a chicken tender but this is the king ranch of a truck and it's 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 the pinnacle of ford luxury it really is the king ranch it's just beautiful let me show you the price tag on a king ranch real quick uh 68,275 62,170 after discounts so it is a mighty fine truck but not the truck that we were just driving in to get the job done on a day-to-day -day basis. Again, I don't see too many King Ranch trucks sitting there at the job site, you know, with a big old trailer hanging off the back of it. That's probably more of the architect's truck. <laughs> Anyways, nothing wrong with it though. It's a beautiful truck, I love them. I love all the Ford trucks. And I'm kind of partial to Ford vehicles. I am. I, I just something about them. I really like them. I think they, they got all the technology on them. They're pretty and uh, and they're just they're really nice. So anyways, and they're tough. Have a great day. Thanks for watching again. As usual, make sure you like, comment and subscribe. We love to um, to earn your business here at Ravenel Ford. But if we can't earn your business because you live in another state or, uh, you know, or maybe you live in another country, if anything, thank you for just watching our videos here on YouTube with Charleston Car Videos. We'll see you soon.